genius? Let's find out! No, I'm not a writer. Okay. You may have seen commercials for it on TV. It, they look crazy. They say stuff like this. Miles from hell. Right in the middle of the desert. He's bleeding out! The only way to save him. We need to stop the heart from beating. Is to kill him. Suspended animation? What if it doesn't work? Cape dies. A heart-stopping new scorpion. And like this. We're being drugged, kidnapped, and coerced. You'll create half a billion in counterfeit American dollars. We have bullets with your names on them. Oh boy. Now. Run like hell. The only hope of escape is her. Oh, my chest hurts. Mother. Not gonna work, Mom. Okay. You're the one I kill first. New scorpion. And like this. A town faces disaster. The lake's about to explode. There's a powder keg waiting for you to light the fuse. This would kill everyone. And to save them all. Get everyone out of there. This team of geniuses will need... Lead the way, Padre. A miracle. There's no escape. Not good. New Scorpion. See this next Monday. You need to be watching Scorpion. This show is literally the craziest show you've ever seen in your entire life. I have no idea personally how the show got to three seasons. All right, so let me give you the simple breakdown. Basically, this team is headed up by Walter O'Brien. He's the main guy. Genius, they're, I mean, they're all geniuses. But essentially, he has an IQ of 197. He's a dick. Everybody hates him, but he's at the house. You, you hate him, but you have to love him because he's good at his job. Toby Curtis, who comes from Harvard, and in every episode, he finds a way to work that into something. You have Happy Quinn, who's like the mechanical engineer. So there's like scenes in the show where it's like, oh, we need someone to fix the car. Well, Happy can do it. Oh, we need someone to find out how. To... Well, Happy can do it. And then there's Sylvester Dodd. Now this guy's a math genius. And basically anytime they need math done, that's not done by the other geniuses, this guy does it. And then you have Cabe Gallo. He's an old man. He's a pretty good character, but I mean, uh, could have been cast better. And then you have Paige Deneen. Super foxy, but to me she's useless. Literally the only reason why she's in the show, I think, is because she looks good. No offense, I'm sure she's a talented actress. But Jesus, you have no, there's no point of her being in this. But let me get to the point. To be honest, the show's never gonna end. Every episode, like, it's basically House. You know how House, it starts off, someone gets bad, and then he tries to fix them, and then they get worse, and then he throws up his ball with his cane, and then says, oh, I, 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 I figured out how to save him. I figured out how to save him. Picture that times 50, but for every episode. And somehow they keep it going, it's crazy. The crazy thing about this is no episode is ever the same. They always have the same amount of twists and turns. Some have 10, some have eight, some have, you know what, I don't even count. Basically, Scorpion, crazy show, definitely recommend it. I mean, this is, it's literally, just watch it, just watch it. You'll love it, I promise you'll love it. Come back here if you don't like it. Anyway, this has been Fiasco Reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Leave comments, stay active, and always remember, there is no spoon. That's one episode. That's one episode of Scorpion. You know how crazy this show is?